What is up everyone? Welcome back to another first place deck profile. Today I won a regional, had to cook once again, and I played Fire King Snake Eyes. Let's get into the profile and as we go, I'll explain my choices and also at the end I'll show you the combo I always went for, which I think is the best combo for this deck. So yeah, let's get into it. So of course we played the Fire King stuff. So I played a minimal engine, so just one Pondix, one Arvada, one Garunix, three Kirin. Some people play two. I still like three just for going first, but going second, I always side out one because going second is not that good. And also only two of these, no circle. I'll explain why I didn't play circle a bit later on, but yeah, this worked pretty good. I didn't really break on it that much. Next up, of course, we have to play the Snake Eyes stuff. This is the reason I played the deck. If there was no Snake Eyes, I probably wouldn't be playing this, but yeah. So we got this. So three Bonfire, of course. One Flamberge. I don't think you should change this at all because this actually worked perfect. Like, the, I didn't miss nothing. That was, I'd never miss like a third Poplar. Some people talk about playing the third, but no, I think this is fine. I also don't play Burge because it's so rare that you miss a body to make a board. Like, you just choose to go for something else if you're missing a body. And also, no Divide Temple of the Snake Eyes. It is the exact same reason why I didn't play Circle. I just don't want to open cards that do nothing by themselves. And that is because I end on Heat Soul every game. So I'm just trying to draw into Hand Traps. I'm not trying to draw into Circle. If you play less Hand Traps or like more Board Breakers or something, Temple is probably better. But at the moment, I think for this build, no Temple is fine. And then I play three Witch, three Wanteds, and one Original. So some people play one, some people play two. I like three. I just like consistency. Like, I'd rather open more engine just so I can play through boards. Sometimes they imprint the Witch, Veil of the Witch, and you just go no Summon Ash. So yeah, it, it does come up. Of course, sometimes you open the Witch and Wanted. So yeah, nothing you can really do about that. But even that is not that bad because you get a draw. So yeah, three Witch. Maybe I cut it down to two, but for now, three looks good. And for the hand traps, the main part of the deck, so I played three Ash, three Nib, three Droll, one Imperm, and one Veiler. Like this, this might look weird. Uh, I play this because I play Crossout in the side deck, so I just don't have enough space to side these in, so I just keep them in the main. And also, they're, they're just good. If you open Nib plus any of these two, yeah, I mean, you're cooking everyone. But yeah, three Ash, some people cut it, so people can't take it with Heat up, but I don't think the one extra extender is that bad because Ash can cut them off of so much. Like, it can cut them off of Dragon. They can cut them off the whole Fire King engine. So, like, if they take it, they just end on the Amblo Wheel with Princess Engrave, which is definitely manageable. Droll is kind of underwhelming. It never really won me the game. It definitely weakens the board, so it makes it easier to push through. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. Droll might be might be cut from the main, but even, even now, I still like it. And for the last four cards, we play three Talents and one Call By. These cards were crazy. I was opening Call By a lot <laughs> and then also talents i mean talents is just insane what a broken card just rip their hand and you win this deck has so many boards they can end on and then talent just tells you which board to end on so yeah very good cards now we have the side deck we have the goo <laughs> yeah anti-spell insane card won me so many games then we have three cross out uh so yeah this is my going first stuff anti-spell it's probably the blessed floodgate right now at least for this deck anti-spell just wins games straight up they side in soul release thrust all this stuff doesn't work doesn't work sky striker doesn't work so yeah that's also why i like hand traps just for this anti spell because everyone's playing this everyone uh so yeah if you have hand traps you don't really care like this you don't have that many normal spells in your main like talents you can probably side out some and then of course these but yeah it doesn't really matter. If you have hand traps, you just stop them and they they can have anti-spell, but it doesn't matter because they don't have a board. And then three cross out. I just side out some hand traps to put these in. Uh, so yeah, I always put these six in pretty much against every other deck. Next up, we got three bell, three cosmic. So these are mostly for snake eyes, for pure snake eyes, because if they go for the normal combo, if they link off Flamberge and Ash into IP, you just bell the dragon and they pretty much have nothing. Like they have to have stuff in hand to play through but even if they do it's fine because you should have another hand trap in the hand so yeah three bell also of course for labyrinth and other random stuff and then three cosmic put this in every time going second because every deck is playing floodgates it doesn't matter if it's a tier three deck if it's a rogue deck if it's tier one you put this in <laughs> whatever it is you do need to put this in and then for the last three cards i play two evenly and one karikara uh, this is basically for pearly and also for cash uh it's searchable so yeah, why not just play one and then two evenly. Also for cash, for branded. Branded is a very bad matchup. So yeah, other stuff too. Even for Fire Kings, if you know they're on like Appalooza and Board Breakers, you could just put this in and just 
banish everything they have because they have back row like econ droplets whatever you just banish it and they have one card left and you can easily play through, play through that but before the actual deck shout out to ray shout out to jbo liam giles everyone i tested with and also everyone at carmage and hamilton and now let's get into the actual deck so i played link Reaper, of course no anima i didn't play anima just because i wanted to fit something else you'll see what uh then i play of course ip one sp i think you don't need to one is enough because when you summon this you pretty much win the game like if if you go ip into sp you're pretty much clearing two cards and then you have more interruptions you have still like three or four more interruptions so yeah pretty much when when you go into that then you have of course the charmers then phoenix some people want to cut this but i think this card is mandatory it's it's too nice i'm gonna play sunlight wolf of course in the fire king build you have to play it in the snake eyes you can probably cut it i was debating if i should put another one in but i think one is fine it does come up sometimes so i, I don't know i'll see but i do need to make extra deck space for it then i play Celine, uh, of course for the access code and then the main card of deck heat soul best card i love this card <laughs> if, if a deck can play this i'll play the deck pretty much so yeah heat soul carried i always end on heat soul as i said i'll show you the combo at the end of the video but yeah those are the link threes and then i have link fours and as you can see no raging phoenix just because i didn't want to pay for it but i mean it shows you you can still do well even without it because the price tag is pretty high but if i was going to a ycs something of course i'd pay for it but for regional i was not going to spend that much on a single extra deck card access code does perfectly fine i summon this card every game otk it's it's very very good a very good replacement but yeah these four and also Celine is just nice sometimes reborn witch use the effect again yeah and last card this i never summoned this but it's kind of nice because a lot of people cut it and it can catch people off guard like even me if i play into a fire king board and i'm like okay no interruptions let's go keep playing keep playing keep playing they go like effective sanctuary and i was like oh you actually play it so yeah this can catch people off guard also can clear a back row sometimes and now i'll show the combo i'll go for 99 of the games this is the combo i think is the best some people use other combos as well but i think with this deck it really differentiates the players which combo you choose to play and also the skill this deck is very technical so if you just make one misplay you can lose the whole game but if you did it correctly, it can literally win you the game on the spot. So yeah, let's get into it. So you go normal summon Ash, of course. Search Poplar. You summon the Poplar, Poplar effect. Add. Uh, now, some people would go for Oak and stuff here. I don't go for that. So I just go Link 1. And now here I go Ash, send this, and Poplar. Now, if they Ash this, this is a bit riskier. Because usually people send the Sanctuary off. But since I'm playing the XYZ, I like to keep the Sanctuary on field. And also, sometimes they can protect from a pop. If they go like Kieran, pop your island, sometimes you just want to protect it. So it does come up even, even for that effect. But yeah, you go these two, send, summon the Flamberge. Now you go Flamberge effect to spell trap, whatever. I just spell trap the poplar here. Um, Because Flamberge is going to be linked off. I don't keep it on field. So yeah, I'm not that worried about using its effect. And now you go original, send this, summon Ponyx. Ponyx effect to search. Sanctuary is going to activate the island, of course. And now you go island effect, pop the Ponyx. Search for Garunix, special Garunix, Garunix, pop the Arvada here. Search Garunix, Garunix effect. Now here, if you know they don't have a nib in hand, you can go for Kirin, but I always like to play around nib, so I pop the Arvada here. Now Arvada is going to bring back the Ponix. So here you want to keep the Dragon on field just for the nib. If they nib, you can still pray through it. So we go these three straight into Princess, no IP, because as I said, I already used the Dragon effect, so IP doesn't really do much. And now we go Princess effect. They have to nib you here. Uh, so then you can easily play through that. But yeah, you go Special Summon Arvada. And you make Sunlight Wolf. Now you go Flamberge Effect. And this is very important. This is very important. So you want to summon Poplar to this zone. Or not under the Sunlight Wolf. And then you can summon either Snake Eye Ash or Ponix. Doesn't really matter. And then you trigger this to add back. If you're going game 2 or 3, I probably would add back this to play around Soul Release. Uh, but yeah, it really depends like what's what's in your hand. If you have anti-spell, then no point in doing that. So yeah, I add this back to hand so Arvada can pop it next turn. Uh, and then I go Link Rebo effect in Grave. Summon. And now I go Link 3 and make a Heat Soul. And now this board might look underwhelming, but if you really think about it, it is pretty good. It plays around a lot of stuff. Now some people say, why didn't you link this off into Apple? Why didn't you link this off into Amblo Whale? Because it plays into a lot more stuff, which people are going to side in or just main deck against Fire Kings. So first of all, if you make an Amblo Whale, they can just fuse off these two and you have nothing. You have no interruptions. Then, if you make Appalooza, they can just change of heart 
mind control, econ, whatever, take it, you did nothing. Basically, they just take Apple and you have no interruptions because they can just negate your princess, negate whatever else you have. So he's going to draw you another card. And then, even if they super poly these two, you still have a fire on field, which is poplar, which can, which can spell trap another thing. You also have a link rebo, so you can go princess, chain the link rebo, so you don't lose a body. So you basically keep a link rebo to protect sp uh, poplar, spell trap, whatever, probably sana wolf. And then Princess can summon back and then Garunix. And Garunix can pop uh, Kirin from deck, pop another one, summon Nervada. So you basically have a full field. But if you link them off into Amblo Whale, you wouldn't. You would have nothing. So yeah, and this hand trap focus build, I think this is the best thing you can end on. As I said, plays around a lot of stuff. Of course, if you have Kirin in hand, whatever else, it can become even better. But just of one Ash, I think this is the most correct line. And yeah, that was that. Hopefully the next deck profile will be first place YCS list. We'll see. And that was it. Peace.